Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make an Arduino based 12V DC to 220V AC inverter. This inverter has a feedback system which stabilizes output voltage. It also has an over under voltage protection system, battery low volt protection system and a battery level indicator as well. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by PCB Gogo. PCB Gogo has providing PCB fabrication and assembly services from prototype to mass production. Although PCB Gogo is only 5 years old, their factories have been providing PCB manufacturing and assembly services to customers in China more than 10 years. PCB Gogo never stops growing in this changing world. Now PCB Gogo has 3 PCB manufacturing plants and a PCB assembling plant with over 400 workers. Their daily PCB manufacturing and assembly order have exceed 3000 and their annual sales have increased from $100,000 to $20 million. In August, PCB Gogo welcomes its fifth birthday. To celebrate the anniversary, they gave out series of discount coupons and souvenirs to the new and regular customers. These are all the discounts. The discount can be used only once. The customers with order amount more than $100 will get a souvenir randomly. The souvenir includes advanced PCB ruler, eco bag and a stylish pen. If you share the campaign news and tag it to three of your friends, then you can get $5 coupon. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech. do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First I'm gonna connect Arduino Nano, after that I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to pin number D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that I'm gonna connect 5 LEDs and connect their cathode to ground and their anode to pin number D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7 of Arduino. After that I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin D9 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor, its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 4 of optocoupler and its other pin to 12V supply. 
After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin 3 of optocoupler and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin D10 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect another PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor, its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 4 of optocoupler and its other pin to 12 volt supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin 3 of optocoupler and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to pin 3 of first optocoupler and its other pin to pin 3 of second optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect another 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to 12 volt supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to 12 volt supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect 7805 regulator and connect its pin number 1 to 12 volt supply, its pin number 2 to ground and its pin number 3 to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of regulator and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 0.1 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin 3 of regulator and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin 3 of regulator and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47k resistor and connect its one pin to 12 volt supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5k trim pot and connect its one side pin to remaining pin of 47k resistor, its center pin to A1 pin of Arduino and its other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1k resistor and connect its one pin to D8 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 2 to remaining pin of 1k resistor and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 12 volt supply and its other pin to pin number 1 of BC547 transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to common terminal of relay and its other side pin to normally open pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4007 diode and connect its cathode to 12 volt supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to 12 volt supply and its negative pin to pin number 1 of transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4007 diode and connect its anode to normally open pin of relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220K 3 watt resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of diode. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 220K resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a multi-turn trim pot and connect its one side pin to dividing point of 220K resistor and 2.2K resistor and its center pin to A0 pin of Arduino and its other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt Zena diode and connect its cathode to A0 pin of Arduino and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to dividing point of 220K and 2.2K resistor and its negative pin to ground. So we have done all the connections of inverter kit. Now we need a power module which will drive the transformer. So let's make the power module and do all the connections. To make the power module, we are gonna need some power MOSFETs. So I'm gonna use 75 and 75 MOSFETs. You can also use IRFZ44 MOSFETs. First connect 6 MOSFETs and connect their pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect pin number 1 of first set of 3 MOSFETs to pin number 3 of first optocoupler. After that, connect pin number 1 of second set of 3 MOSFETs to pin number 3 of second optocoupler. After that, connect pin number 2 of 3 MOSFETs to one side wire of the transformer. After that, connect pin number 2 of second set of 3 MOSFETs to other wire of the transformer. The center wire of the transformer will go to 12 volt supply. Now let's connect one wire of a switch to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. 
After that, connect one output pin of the transformer to normally open pin of the relay and its other pin to ground. Dot connections are completed. Now let's test the project.